Grab your egg babies because we're heading to the future with this new Shui figure. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and this time totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Beyond and this is the Collect to Build figure variant. We're going to explain all this in just a second. It gets a little muddled a little bit but keep in mind just this, this is the version of Batman Beyond. There are two coming out that comes out first. It is a Target exclusive, and it comes with the piece to collect to build the Joker robot from Future's End. Really nice packaging, nice crisp Batman Beyond on the sides. On the back, it shows everything that you're going to be doing for this, I said initially year, it's like half a year endeavor. They're trying something a little bit new. Each one comes out about a month and a half, two months after each one. So by the end of the year, yeah, you'll have this Joker bot if you're going to be collecting and building them but it's interesting it's cool it's from one of the worst storylines ever it's just not good i gave up halfway i get the gist of it it's just blah but on the back you see batman beyond then you get to see the other three figures in shadow now previously a couple months back todd mcfarland did one of his classic videos and he showed off that shriek batwoman beyond and blight will be the other three figures in this Target exclusive Joker bot build a figure wave, okay? If you look closely at the photos that are in shadow, we do see Batwoman. So I'm gonna say that for the Target exclusive, now this has not been confirmed, but if you're kind of going off the general gist of things, we're going to be getting the Target exclusive Batwoman Beyond in the red, and then the initial figure that just will go everywhere will probably be blue because she is the daughter of Nightwing or she could be unmasked. It's up in the air, but I'm going to say, you know, reuse and all that kind of stuff. Probably get a blue one. I, I put my money on that. And then, of course, you also see Blight. Now, before, in McFarlane's video, he had purposely shown off, he showed off two images, but he said, mainly talked about Blight in this, like, suit, containment suit. And that's from the comic book. So this is really all comic book related. It's based on Batman the Animated Series, but it's really all comic book related. So this, I think, will be the Blight that goes everywhere. And for the Target Wave, this will be the Blight in his traditional, I guess people say like business church attire, right? The black shirt, brown pants, the classic Blight. That's the Blight that I like. That's the Blight that I truly want. Then we have Shriek. Now this is where, again, it get kind of muddled. On the same day, Target put up the Shriek for their exclusive Build-A-Figure line, and then they put up other listing for just the single, minus the pieces to build, and they used the same photos. Well, they goofed that, so a lot of people were disappointed. 25 bucks for the Collect-A-Build figure, and then 20 bucks for regular Shriek. The Collect-A-Build figure Shriek comes with the mask and the Sonics and the pieces. The one that will go everywhere will be the unmasked Shreve Head, that's his name, and you get different sort of more circular sonic effects. Two different distinct figures. I would say if you're more classic, you probably want to go with the mass one. But for me, and they've never done the figure before, I gotta have both, right? And then, because we're looking at this featureless Batman Beyond, the Batman Beyond that will go everywhere will be the more traditional, semi-cartoonish, more comic bookish Terry McGinnis comes with the wrong batarang, comes with the jet boots, and comes with the flight stand. So after we look at this figure, and you haven't totally clicked off because you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about at this point, you can make your decision. And then you buy all these four figures throughout this 2021 year, and you can build the giant futures and Joker bot. I hope you stayed with me through all of that. Here's the barcode if you need it. He's starting to hit Target stores now. Mine shipped from Target. Totally forgot I pre-ordered it showed up awesome let's look at him this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot shway cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse collect to build joker bot variant batman beyond and here's old terry mcginnis out of the packaging along with his batarangs his extra hands and the joker bot collect to build figure it doesn't come with a flight stand i just wanted to support the joker bot so you know, a little bit of dramatic effect to it but we will look at the joker bot in a few months when he's all fully complete and ready to go yeah looks pretty cool to me the one thing i want to point out though keep in mind 
there are a couple parts to this guy. But for what you're getting, for the Joker bot itself, yeah, he's got Joker on one side, Batman on the other. This is Batman Beyond Batman stitched together with Joker. Yeah, it's a whole thing. There's really four pieces. So get your Ziploc baggies going because you're not going to build this guy for another couple months just yet. You don't want to lose these very important pieces, right? Just, <laughs> I'm telling you. Put them in a plastic bag, put them in a drawer, put them wherever you can find them. Don't lose these things. The Batarangs are great, awesome looking, futuristic, high tech, nicely sculpted, detailed Batarangs, painted nicely. You do get a pair of, let's say gun holding hands, but they're really Batarang holding hands and they do hold them well. It kind of gives that extra little oomph to it, right? It looks like more like you pull them out and the fingers supporting it. Yes, they are gun holding hands as well. Mr. Freeze, at some point in the animated style, or you know, you can put the animated thing and you can defeat Ink, something like that. Why not? You can use those. Let's look at the figure, because I'm sure you're all waiting for that. Now keep in mind, like all DC Multiverse, it comes with the stand as well, but this is a very slick, sleek looking Batman Beyond. Nice detail on the face. This is the featureless version, so it's not really my favorite. It's not really what I think of, but he's got nice boots, really pointed, pointed boots on this guy. And he has really nice articulation on him. The one problem is the wings, they do not come off. Or at least unless you want to rip them off or pry them off or heat them off or whatever you want to do. But the wings are the one hiccup to this figure. Now, don't get me wrong. When you have him all pulled out and, you know, the, the wings are all going and stuff, it looks great. The backside of the wings needed to be black. I know in recent comics it goes, they're really all solid red, but I'm used to one side's black and the inside is red. Now you'll notice these little slats and he's got little hooks on the actual arms of the figure and they simply just insert just like that. So this figure to me is really meant to be posed exactly like what we're seeing right there, boom, you're done. Put his legs up, if you get the jet thrusters from the others. Problem is, is that because these slats, I mean, they're very noticeable slats, right? You see them. When you put them up, if you wanted to do like even the opening, you know, when he puts the wings up and everything else, you can't make the arms go high and put the slats from the arms, the pegs, into the holes of the wings. <laughs> So you can put the wings up all you want, but they're always gonna have these little, it's so frustrating. It's, this is a frustrating figure. Don't get me wrong and think like, oh my God, I don't like it. This is cool. This is a really cool, nice stylized Batman Beyond. But that's that's a thing that I'm like, ah, oh, why can't you take the wings off? I'd love to be able to take the wings off. All right, so here's the thing. I'm glad I tried this. All I did was fill up a little thing of water, hot, hot water, right? Dunked him in there for about 30 seconds, pulled him out, barely sort of tugged on the wings, and the wings came right off. The wings come off. Look at that. I was wrong, but I'm glad I tested it out. But I would say, unless you're using the hot water, you're not going to be able... It's more of like a peg sort of deal, and warming that up makes it a little bit more malleable. Pop it right off. But yeah, the wings are completely separate, and... It's great, it's fantastic. I'm so happy that you can take the wings off of this character. Now you are left with a giant hole on his back, but at least it's black, blends in a little bit better. It's not the greatest looking thing, but I'm just happy that the wings come off. I think that's a lot cooler. And now so much more looking forward to the other release with the jetpacks and everything else. So in that sense, yeah, this figure just went whoop, right up. Let's talk about the articulation, which is pretty sleek, pretty stellar. I like it. You can make his head look up, which is good for flight, and you make him look down like he's brooding. You know, maybe he's talking with Bruce on the other end of the intercom, something like that. Put the arms up. I have no problems with that. He's got butterfly joints. You can put his arms all the way up. Upper diaphragm, he does have a twist and rotation, rotation at the waist. Cool belt for what it is. You can do the splits really nicely. There is no thigh cut on this guy. I think that could have used a thigh cut because you can hide it. It's all black figure. You know what I mean? He's got double jointed knees and he has nice feet. They're very sturdy. He does stand pretty well on his own. I'll give him that. And he's got toe articulation. I just wish that he had a little bit more crunch in him. That way he could go forward and do the more classic looking Batman Beyond poses. You know what I mean? He does have the jet thrusters sculpted on the bottom as well. So that's nice. So if you get the other figure, you can swap the pieces out.
in the hands, I'm going to tell you this, he's got more like claw-like hands, which works for Batman Beyond, but typically he has more of just the normal type of hands. He has a mechanism where he kind of snaps them out. You can turn them into like claws sort of deal. Kind of like the claw look on this guy. So I don't mind it too much. And I'm glad that you get both endeavors and he poses nicely, but fisted hands because typically when you have Batman Beyond, he fires them out of his wrist. You know what I mean? Then yeah, they also slip out from his wrist and he holds them. So it works both ways, but I think fisted hands is really what this character's missing. Again, I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt itself. I like the more featured version where you actually see the mouth and all that kind of stuff, the nose, but I don't dislike it to where I wouldn't say grab this figure mainly on that alone. Now, when comparing him, let's say to one of my favorite Batman Beyond figures, which was the last Mattel DC Multiverse one, being that the wings can come off on this new one, I still do like the Mattel version better. I think it keeps more in line with the animated look of Batman Beyond. This new one is great for comic books. I'm not a big fan again of the head sculpt. That's why I think I'll enjoy the more traditional looking head when the other version comes out. But they both are really good figures in that sense. When it comes time, when the other Batman Beyond comes out, I will get out all my Batman Beyond figures and we'll have a Who Batman Beyonds best. That way I have a little bit more to talk about. When it comes to height wise, he is in that seven inch mark. The Pulo Batman is still taller and he's around the same size as say like the new Bizarro and the Red Hood. And of course he is taller than Damian Wayne. When you compare him to Marvel Legends, yeah, he's going to tower over them. Wings or no wings, I think that he is really going to fall more into some people's notion of a pre-posed figure when the wings are utilized being that they have the slats and you can only put them up so high however without the wings i think he looks great but to be honest with you really having the removal of the wings adds a lot to this look this particular look of terry mcginnis for batman beyond i am going to recommend this guy i think it's a fantastic looking figure when you have him posed the wings can be a little bit off in that sense where yeah the the slats i wish it was just a little bit different especially the hooks on his forearms but the articulation works for me i really like the batarangs and i think that given that you kind of have to buy the other figure to get the full effect of batman beyond it's not the greatest but you are getting two really good batman beyonds two head sculpts at least and various different accessories but i'm curious to know what you guys think about this figure will you be picking him up do you already have him comment below let me know let's talk everything batman beyond what's your favorite episode of batman beyond have a shway weekend Get your Batman Beyonds if you need them and just have a great time doing so. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.